Someone who appeared to get on very, very well with Paul Holmes was Dame Kitty Takanoa. She's with us live now from Brighton in the UK. Welcome. Thank you for getting up early. And I understand you have some friends with you. Can you introduce us? Yep. That's me, Millie. <laughs> Just, I've got two puppies. It's too cold outside. Fair enough. Beautiful she is. Um, you had a bit of a special bond with Paul, didn't you? Can you tell us a bit about it? Well, may I first of all say deep condolences to the whole family, the whole family, and to New Zealand, really, who would be mourning him right now. He was a wonderful, wonderful man. And I think the one thing I'd like to say about Paul is that you could actually trust him. If he'd said, look, don't go down that line of questioning for me, I don't want to go there, he would do that. And you can't ask many journalists to do that. And I think that was a huge part of who he was. He was an incredibly truthful, trusting, and honest person. Is that why you felt so relaxed with him, that trust? Yeah, yeah, I, I really, I know that if he gave his word, he gave his word. And that was so important for someone like me. I mean, I, he, he went through a couple of bad times with me. And he, he really protected me. I felt that there was a deep protection. And that's what he seemed to do with just, I mean, all the, the interviews that you've had now. He, he was a very caring man. He, he covered a lot of ground. And he was, you know, he was our Michael Parkinson over here. He did huge, he leaves a huge legacy, which is, is so rewarding for I mean, a man who's only 62. He still had a lot of living to do and I you know and it's sad he's so so sad he's gone he's he, we needed him for another 20 years he called you a bundle once and then you kissed him <laughs> well some, sometimes I used, used to do that when I sort of try and shut them up I used to do that on, on um, and oh, he so was the one I did the it too much <laughs> We're showing it now, and it's an extraordinary piece of videotape, Dame Kitty, if I might say so. That's right. What do you think his very best attributes were? Was it his humour? Nothing. Humour, he, he, could, he could be a very brilliant man, he could be also a very common man, which, which I meant he, he, would, he would come down to the level of people who would understand him. You know, he, he, could get, he could speak to the very ordinary, he could speak to the very high and mighty, but he was a very ordinary person. And I think that was the, that was the wonderful thing about him. He could move through all the barriers. And um, people, I mean, look, just now, the, all the tributes to him going then, it's just, I hate it when they, they do all these things when people are dead. But in actual fact, he knew it when he was alive too, how much he mattered and what he did. So that's all really good. I always keep on saying, don't talk about me when I'm dead. You know, tell me nice things when I'm alive. But I think he got that too. Thank you so much for being with us, Dame Kitty Takanoa. Thank you.